everyone, Rachel Jensen here, broker owner of Luna Realty Belize on Ambergris Key. Today we are doing a construction update at Aruna Resort. Aruna is located five minutes across the lagoon from town, from San Pedro town, and about a 15 minute drive to Secret Beach. Yes, there is a road connecting Aruna Resort to Secret Beach. We're just south of Secret Beach. So it's in a really great location here. You get incredible access to town when you need it, to the beach when you need it. Otherwise you're in your own oasis over here. So for those who have been following, I am really excited to share what's been going on over the last month. If you're just tuning into the updates here, I hope you'll be impressed with what's going on. There's a lot of great progress. I've been on the island for 11 years and want to say that it's really important as you are following developments to make sure there is the progress happening. And so that is the goal of this session here. So for those of you who are new, feel free to reach out to us, info at lunarealtybelize.com. We can send you over the brochure, the site map, availability, pricing, FAQs, all of that information. But this is really meant to update everybody about what's been going on on site here. So right now I'm standing on the outdoor dock and we are on the first floor over here. Over the last month, the local artist Elvi has finished her mural. Uh, she is slated to do more art here within the first floor. This is the bar area. In addition to that, she is working on the interior design of the cottages that are existing at this point. So we will go into one of the cottages to see some custom work that has been done to it, but she is working on getting all of those items uh, ordered from the state. They'll be shipped down here and then finish off the cottages with them. Uh, in addition to that, where we're located here on this dock, so first floor is where we have the bar, second floor restaurant, third floor is the lounge area. Uh, in front of me, we have the pool and we also have tons of outdoor space here where you can lounge, you can grab some sun, there'll be umbrellas for shade, uh, or you're also able to just eat any bar food or drink any cold beverages that will be available here at the bar. So we're gonna take a look around. As I mentioned, we're on the first floor over here. Uh, what else has happened here on the first floor on this outdoor decking area is that there's been a bathroom that's been completed. So we'll take a look at that. In addition to that, doors and windows on the first and second floor have been added. And then the third floor, that is the rooftop space. And uh, that has been semi-completed as well. So that's not totally finished at this point, but we can take a look and see everything that's been progressed over the last month here in the common areas. All right, we are here at Aruna phase one and behind me we have the fourplex. Uh, these are all sold at this point, but I did wanna highlight that there is new landscaping that has gone in since our last video. For those of you who are familiar with our Aruna project, one of the concepts that we're looking to accomplish is where the sea meets the jungle. So greenery, bringing in some lush landscaping is key. Obviously this is still a construction zone, so it's not too uh, landscaped at this point, but doing what we can in order to start the growth of of the plants. So we have added grass behind us. There will be continued grass behind us as well as we get closer to the cottages. But in the meantime, enjoy the greenery and let's go look around. Okay, we are here at the Canal Front Duplex. This is a property that has sold, but I wanted to show you some of the custom upgrades. One of the benefits when you come in pre-construction or during the construction process is that if there's anything you wanna add, it's a lot easier to do so at that point compared to when the property is already complete. So here in this area, the owner decided to add an outdoor kitchen because in this duplex model, there only is a kitchenette, one on each side of the duplex. So each studio side does have their own kitchenette. However, he wanted something a little bit more full. And you can see an example here of what he's decided to do. There's a dishwasher, 
microwave or refrigerator. In addition to that, he has his little grill over here, his little barbecue. So he is able to accommodate people who are coming who are looking for full kitchens, or perhaps when he's here, he's able to use it personally. In addition, what he decided to do and what was important to have in an outdoor kitchen is covering above us. And so that was added. Uh, this is a feature that is available to folks who are choosing models going forward. Uh, but I do want to point out to you how beautiful the ceiling looks and then also some of the options that you have when you are looking at the properties here at Aruna. So this is a complete outdoor kitchen. If this is something that you would be interested in, feel free to let us know and we can get the prices for you. We're gonna take a look inside as well and see some of the other updates that he decided to do since the last video. And uh, we'll go from there, come on in. All right, and so this owner, as I mentioned to you, wanted to do a duplex, keep it as a duplex. We had originally kept this model open where this could be a full kitchen and a living room and the other side could be the bedroom. However, he decided that he wanted optimal rental income. So as a result, this side is going to be a rental studio. Kitchenette is gonna be right over here behind us full bathroom as well. And then there's a connecting door right over here that goes to the next studio. That next studio also has a kitchenette and of course a full bathroom. And because this model is a little bit more custom, if you follow me, sorry, I know it's a construction site here. He decided in this area to have an owner lockout closet so that he can put his personal items in and as he comes and goes, he can take whatever he wants from his own closet. So again, a little bit more of a customization when you're coming in prior to the property being complete. And we do have some other options for folks who would be interested in doing something similar. So we'll just take a look around here and then go look at the progress at phase two. All right, so here we are on the south side of phase one. There are four more units to be built, two duplexes. There's one duplex that's remaining at this point, a tiny home and then a studio model. The tiny home and the studio model are already claimed, but there is a duplex that I think is in a really great location right over here. You still have water views, even though you're not on the canal side. And that duplex over there actually has the opportunity for a rooftop veranda. So over the course of the last month, the foundation and the, the pillars for the foundations have been added so that when the material arrives here for the phase one homes, they will be able to just start constructing vertically and going from there. So the materials for the phase two homes have arrived. We are expecting the phase one home materials to arrive by the end of this week. And then from there, they'll be able to go up in just a couple of months and then finishings uh, will take about a month. Now, I do wanna note that the first 10 homes in phase one are made out of wood. The homes, the next four homes here, and then all of the phase two homes and the phase three homes going forward will be what I call a prefab steel cut construction. So actually the steel is produced in a factory in Costa Rica. And then it takes about two months to get it all cut precisely and perfectly by the time it arrives here, then we're able to erect it very quickly and then have the finishes. So we are excited about this construction methodology. It is going to be really quite durable, but I do think that we'll see significant progress for these next four homes in our video next month. In the meantime, we can go see the steel for the phase two homes. So let's take a look. All right, so right here we are in the phase two area. The foundations have been completed for the phase two homes. It will include in this round three tiny home models, the Kakora model, one two bedroom model, and an additional three bedroom model. And so those uh, will be built in this location over here. These are built to order, so there are still a couple more tiny homes and a couple more two or three bedroom models if anybody is interested in something a little bit larger than what we looked at in phase one. But you will see the steel behind me, and this is the material that will be used to construct the home. So we're really excited to see that progress and we'll keep you posted as it goes vertical. 
So in addition to all the progress that's been happening with the homes, one important factor is the road where people will be able to drive from Secret Beach should they choose or so from town should they choose right to the cottage. So that access way is being completed right over here. We are able to look right down, see where the road has been started. And then actually if you cut across the canal and then you just go up a little north, that's where you will find the road to Secret Beach. So it'll be convenient for people who do want a golf cart. They'll have access should they choose, but this is obviously an important factor in the infrastructure development here. So we'll keep everybody posted as it progresses.